Hi everyone, my name is Ishvin Bryan and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use my free VHS look template right here. All it takes is a drag and drop into Adobe Premiere Pro and use my template as an overlay. Instead of having to take the time to learn how to make this effect, I'm giving it to you as a freebie with things that I've accumulated from the internet for free and I just built this VHS look. Hopefully you enjoy. All you're gonna to have to do is go to the link below, download my template, you'll get a project file and a bunch of different assets that will connect to that file. Good luck. So once you open up your template that I provided in the link below, you'll see that everything has been assembled for you in the timeline, which makes it super easy just to grab a clip, like say this one for instance, I'm gonna drag and drop it in here and just throw it underneath the footage. You can start at the beginning if you want, but you can see it just applies the VHS effect. And that's how easy this template is to use. All you gotta do is drag and drop. Um, so then once you like, you know, pre-render it and hit play, you'll see it's being used. Pretty sweet. So that's how easy it is to use this effect. But now I'm gonna kinda go into a deeper dive of what each of these layers does and how you can manipulate them. So this four by three aspect ratio, if you turn it, I'm gonna turn it off real quick. You can see like if you wanted to keep your VHS effect 1920 by 1080, you could totally do that and this is what it looks like. Um, but if you really want to keep that, you know, authentic VHS look, you wanna change that aspect ratio right here. Um, and then we have our blank VHS tape and play overlay footage. You can see I can turn that on and off and that adds this kind of look with the play button uh, and all these other numbers here. Uh, grain just adds a little more grain. It's hard to really see, but it just makes your footage more grainy like authentic VHS um, footage would be. And then I've done this pre-color correction on this adjustment layer here. So I can turn that on and off. You can see what my footage originally looked like. It looked like this. And then once I add the color correction on it, it looks more VHS-like where you have some kind of like reds and different colors bleeding out of your footage. Um, and just like that, all you have to do is place your footage underneath, set your in and out points if you want, and render this. Um, and again, this is what it looks like if you don't have footage under it. Um, which is pretty sweet. Um, say I wanted to add some effects or anything, if I go into my VHS folder that's here, um, you can see I've added different things like this blue screen intro that I found on the internet. Um, you got static video here if you wanna make it look like it's it's um, having difficulty or you're not you're rewinding or anything. Um, and then you have your blank VHS tape um, that I already have provided on there. So um, say you wanted to make like a cool transition um, I can just take the static video, grab like a piece of it, and drop it onto our timeline here. Um, I would put it underneath um, all of the, of the footage, so I'll probably drop it right here. Um, this is how I do little transitions sometimes, so I throw it in between two clips. So let me just throw in another video. Uh, let's do like a close-up head here. I'm just going to take a chunk of this. Um, this is from a music video I made um, for a song that I made as well, but um, here we go. So now I can just put the static in between, and if I play this back, it's like a cool transition. See how it kind of just like glitches like that. Um, what you can do, you can play around with it too. Um, if you click on the footage, hit effects controls, um, go down to blend mode, and change that to overlay or screen. You can play around with all these different ones here, I usually use screen. Um, so it keeps some of the footage still intact underneath the transition there. Um, and the same thing goes for all these um, different layers here. I've already uh, added screen to them. So if you do end up grabbing some from the VHS folder here, just make sure you change the blending mode to screen or overlay. Um, you can see the grain I just have overlaid. Um, this blank VHS tape I have screened. Um, and then color correction is just a layer on top. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this is a quick and easy way for you to produce cool VHS looks in your videos. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll be making more of these videos and giving out freebies and things like that.